Good morning, dear readers. To my today's presentation is about the case of the bonsai manager, Lessons from Nature on Growing by Mr. R. Gopalakrishnan, Executive Director of Tata Sons Limited, Director at Tata Power, Tata Technologies, and many more. What do I get out of this book? Reading is basically for pleasure and this is a very interesting book where you where a reader can go through various life experiences as case studies and understand the nature of human beings as well. Next is knowledge to share. But what is experience has to be shared for the improvement of the society. So obviously you can share the knowledge and improve the society. Developing intuition is very important in a in an organization and this ability will be gained after reading case studies and then career growth then it leads to improve leadership skills. The title of the book serves as a warning that managers can become like stunted plants. Sales says R. Gopalakrishnan. He, 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 what he means is that after reaching certain level in the management, the manager will have to take decisions on important issues happening in, in his own concern. In such a circumstances, sometimes analytical skills might not work. Analytical skills that he learned throughout his experience and also in his graduate study might not work, then the gut feeling works. So how to develop that confidence and gut feeling is what he is talking about throughout the book. So the title of the book is thus justified. He is also stressing on learning what is not taught. Learning through experience is something important for every manager whatever circumstances they have gone through they have to learn from it and share the knowledge while there are many managers while they share the knowledge it will become a part of the common social culture logical analysis and intuition logical analysis is something that can be taught and there is a system and there is a pattern whereas intuition doesn't have any pattern and it is just out of the visualizing power of the manager and the here manager must be strong enough to visualize what is going to happen at the, this particular hour of the issue idea of brim brains remote implicit memory here he talks about the memory that we have regarding our childhood where we will remember our grandparents house where uh, there is where there is a lake and where there is another uh, establishment these are there in in the brain throughout life but what happened in the previous week we would have forgotten so this is called so there is a, a deep a remote place in the brain where memory is situated or resting this is what is what he calls brim and he says there is proof that there is something called brim and this implicit memory is uh, something interesting where he uh, talks about uh, the knowledge gained through experience and that pattern might not be the same always. Intuition through varied experiences and relations. Intuition can be developed. Intuition, intuition cannot be taught. Intuition can be developed through various experiences that one goes through in the in various uh, career domains and the relations that they have so that sharing would have happened of the case studies and 
it can intuition can be trained and for that purpose he the uh, author talks about stories from nature and its importance in best practices learning process inside an organization learning from threats whenever there is a competition whenever there is a threat one will learn that is the first message he is conveying for that he is an he is giving an example of how japanese found a mechanism to keep fish fresh even after they fish even after the, those fishermen get back to the shore after 15 days then learning through sharing he says and i quote he said that his grandmother in barcelona had taught him to always share that is a lot of joy in sharing imprinted into his brim was the granny's message you cannot give what you don't have you cannot have what you don't give so it is with organizational knowledge he says without sharing an organization cannot sustain much then he is telling the story of coaching where he talks the story of a falcon which is taught to fly and get back good books create a good human being read read and read thanks for watching vidya's vlog have a good day